Hello and welcome back to how to write comics, whatever I am titling this. This one is going to be a bit more of a casual uh, setup. Uh, I am sorry also for the frame rate. I had a few people comment on that and because I am recording on my MacBook, there is not really an easy solution for that. Like for the weird motion smoothing, so... I can't do anything about that now, but apparently people also don't mind. So, anyways, I am Luke Hare. I go online as Coltreg, K-O-L-T-R-E-G. I'm primarily a comics writer. I also do comics editing. You can hire me for both. But my goal is to help you as a comics writer make comics. If you have listened to the other episodes, you know that I say things like, you can make a comic all by yourself, and I still think that is honestly true. But if you don't want to do that, but you also want to provide some value or even just work on your scripting, what I think a lot of writers fail to do is think effectively about what a page is and what a script is. Because... Uh, a script is you trying to get your thoughts out to the artist for what they are going to need to put on, as well as collecting the dialogue that they are going to need to put on. And uh, thinking about the page and thinking about panels is something that can be hard to do. And one of the best methods that I've found for improving what I do as a writer has been drawing bad sketch stick figures like this book is pretty much filled with uh assorted layouts and uh other things and yeah most of the stuff isn't good but sometimes for getting an idea across it is helpful to have something for the artist who you are going to be working with and other times for just like figuring out what you can actually fit onto a page because a lot of new writers want to put too much onto a page uh it's important uh, you also need to think about a lot of other stuff that you won't necessarily think of so for context i am working on a new mini comic project that might lead into a series and I did a very basic script for it. You should be seeing that right now. Like, there aren't really panel breakdowns. It's mostly just notes. So what I'm going to do is kind of talk through as I write. And, oh no, I'm in, like, the last sheet of this book. Uh, that's, that's actually impressive if you know a lot of people who get sketchbooks and then just never fill them up so uh this new series uh i was initially a manga pitch that didn't get produced and it's uh now called i hope i can manage might tweak that but the idea is going to be it is about a young woman who ends up in a position where she is chosen by an ai to head up the world's largest technology company that has made this world into a big utopia. And this whole story is also only going to be 10 pages because with 10 pages plus a front and a back cover, you have something that you can pack into a book and sell. And that's also a decent point to like see, hey, is there going to be interest in this? Can we tell a complete story? And what do we need before trying something bigger and so the first page of the script is something that is more of just like five panels of describing this world because you want to paint a picture of that uh but i don't think that would necessarily be a great like page to draw for this exercise so the second one is we are getting introduced to the main character julie as well as some more of the world, including her uh, AI assistant that's going to be like a floaty thing. 
and then Ivan, who is the former or soon to be former owner of this company. And so kind of like picturing this, uh, uh, this is going to be a Western style comic. So it is going to go left to right and yeah, left to right, even though that's reversed. I'm, it's been a long day. It is like 8.30 as opposed to when I recorded some of the others. So, um, yeah, so the first panel is going to be her at her desk and we just need to establish what she is doing. And so what I am doing here is I'm making a frame for a wide panel. And then I'm going to be adding a desk. So not much now, but it's getting the ideas down there. And I know that we are going to need to have a narrator line on here. So I'm putting in a box for that and I'm just kind of shading that in and then I'm putting in a one. You don't need to necessarily number your boxes but it is potentially helpful for like letting the artist know where you're thinking these boxes might go. Uh, I just got done with another project where we didn't really think about box placement and so a lot of, or at least some important art was getting covered by the lettering. You want to make sure that that's being factored in. So she is at her desk. and is on a phone thing and then we are going to have her symbol and then drawing in that second speech bubble. So uh, we are then going to be introduced to Ivan and we don't need a large panel for that. He is going to be coming in through a door. Uh, I'm not putting too much thought into the stick figures or how they look most of the time. Some of the times I will, especially if there's going to be multiple figures. And I'll kind of develop a shorthand. Uh, he also has his assistant uh, floating behind him. And uh, he is uh, not doing anything. So initially in the script right now, I have a note that Julie waves. And kind of just thinking about how this is going to look, I'm going to fill up the rest of the panel with this split. Because my thought is, well, what if in this first panel We've got her waving. So I'm adding some motion lines. And then the following panel can be a just smiley face response because that's Ivan just smiling back at her. And so that's, you know, a slight deviation from the script. And the artist may go in a different direction with this. Uh, and then, oh, well, the next panel says that she is looking at her phone. So going to add in a mobile device there. And then in the last two panels, drawing an app. And then, uh, 
I think she is accidentally uh, donating too much. And so uh, I think the phone is going to have a tiny bubble that has an extra zero coming out of it. And it's... So we have the app, we have the uh, phone, and just kind of that grimace of, oh, you, you put in that extra zero, you donated a bit too much, but you also kind of need to keep your, your job face on, for lack of a better term. And yeah, that's also changing the amount that uh, we had. I also need to... Oh my gosh, I need to find another sketchbook, so. Oh, luckily I am a person with a recently cleaned office. This is not going to be as good. Oh. Some of these are like from 2008. All right, so the quality of the page doesn't matter as much as like the exercises. So we're going to go on to page three of the script. And uh, yeah. So uh, page three is, I think we're going to add in a beat panel, kind of a waiting for things to get shaken up and then the panel after that is the announcement and then another kind of reaction panel i really just love kind of thinking in a bit of an animatorial way like, oh, how are people reacting to things? How are you using timing? How are you using space? And there are artists who don't like doing that because I've essentially just turned one panel into three panels. But uh, we then have uh, Daphne and Phineas uh, come in. Uh, this is a situation where, because of who they are, uh, I am drawing them as very shapes. So Daphne is very like thin and svelte, and uh, Phineas is just a beefy boy. And like even when they are talking, it's not necessary. They are kind of like talking underhanded. So putting the balloons where they are. It's not at the top of the panel necessarily it's this is a conversation between them and then I think just kind of it's funny to have uh, the Julie waving panel like shoved into the corner like it is an afterthought it is something that might get partially cut off by the glee of the page and uh, we then have the two of them walking off backwards. And this is going to work out because Phineas is supposed to talk first and then Daphne this time. And then we're going to do a smaller panel for uh, Julie looking scared so yeah like with that I can take photos of this and put them in and like that gives you a better thought of how the page is going to process what you need if you're doing action sequences, it can be really helpful to think things out. And uh, yeah, let's get both of these pages 
back up again sorry for the mirror image but yeah just like draw some stick figures think about what the page is going to look like in the end and like if you end up finding out that oh you enjoy drawing this way that's like great news i'm taking a photo of this right now because it is somewhere in the middle of this book and yeah who's in the chapter on this uh once again thank you for listening to this um yeah draw just like draw some sketch layouts if you're working on a book and you want to be like well this is going to be 200 pages and you aren't even willing to draw a sketch for one that's that's uh not great like you you want to think about where the page is going to turn you want to think about what happens in between a panel with with like anything you it is a wonderful and helpful exercise there are also some artists out there who don't like to draw layouts um and like i have also spent like hours meeting up with a few artists locally or specifically one artist locally carl lucas shout out to carl uh who like we just went through page by page and planned out a book that might have even been in this sketchbook uh yeah yeah like we just went back and forth on layouts for a book that uh, you can pick up through him. It is called Psych Geist. It's sort of like Doctor Strange meets the Atom about a like psychedelic detective who changes size uh, to like interface with the psychic realms between like micro relationships and macro relationships. Uh, yeah. So, um, that's, that's what I've got for this episode. Thank you for listening. Um, if you are listening to this as it comes out, I am going to be at the Middletown Comic Expo with my good art friend Rad, and then CXC in Columbus, which is Comics Crossroads Columbus, with my wonderful friend and collaborator, uh, Sri, and, yeah. And if these have come out after, you can go and find the books on my itch.io page, which is coltrag.itch.io. And if you need homework, draw. Draw, like, one page of sketch and note where those changes are. I am going to end up adding the sketches that I made tonight to the script and do some more formatting. But, uh, yeah, no, it's relatively easy and i highly recommend it i uh, hope you had a wonderful labor day and happy comics making peace